today is the day I am going to be chopping my long hair off and I'm so excited I feel really ready for it although I am a little bit nervous I've been toying with the idea for about a year and haven't plucked up the courage to do it but I just decided today's the day I mean it's hair at the end of the day it really isn't that important and I can probably grow it back in a year which is no time at all so yeah hopefully I'm going to be going for a bit of a long bob unless I totally chicken out of it and I think I'll probably be taking off wow maybe at least six six inches ah so yeah really excited and I will take you guys with me I'm gonna do that with clippers as well Shane's going grab oh gosh <laughs> for you now you got two minutes of my time and i don't really break too easily but i'm worth it cause i'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break in your sweet you're falling I know it's not a huge change but I'm just looking up in the viewfinder and it looks so different it also feels very different I used to be able to like I used to twiddle the ends of my hair which I won't be doing anymore and yeah it, just, it feels really light and refreshing I feel like a new woman it just feels very strange I want to keep looking in the mirror because it doesn't feel like it's me but Jack my hairstylist did an amazing job he put some more balayage in for me just some really gold and natural highlights um, and made them a little bit ashier because I didn't want them as red I felt a little bit like my old ones over time had gone a little bit red and yeah he did it just under my collarbone the cut and I can't remember what he said if it was quite loud in there I was hoping that I might be able to talk on camera a bit but it was quite busy and um it was the hairdryers and everything going so I wasn't able to talk through it too much but he kind of like chopped off the ends a little bit so it would be a little bit wispier um you may have seen when he was drying it out it was quite like blunt and thick at the bottom so he just got rid of that a little bit and I absolutely love it and then at the end um which I'm not sure if you saw he just put the Babyliss Pro hair curler through it just a little flick which I'm now definitely gonna have to invest in um because I've just been using my GHDs for years and it would be totally like styling it new again I am so looking forward to styling it having it straight having it up a little bit hopefully being able to play around with it sorry if I'm touching it loads but it just feels very different so yeah anyway I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed coming along with me I'm actually gonna um carry on filming because I haven't told Ollie that I was getting it cut and I'm gonna get his reaction tomorrow and actually see if he even notices so yeah I'll catch up with you then I've just put it up and how cute is this little pony doll it's so small Good morning, I'm in London now and I'm power walking because the train was delayed and I'm late for my first appointment of the day. I found it quite hard actually to start my hair this morning because I wasn't used to it. I need to get I think some curling ones, I'm going to have a look out for those this week. I think I'm going to go for the Babyliss Pro, so the 32mm, so I think that'll suit them a little bit. I think the GHD cars are a little bit small. And I'll be meeting Ollie after my two appointments. I'm also hoping Suzanne has just opened a little section in Salvages, which I didn't know about, so I'm hoping to pop there. And I want to get a new phone case, so I'll take you along today. Time went exceedingly quickly. I might be talking funny because I've um, actually just had all the little bits taken off of my teeth and my permanent braces put onto the backs. And again, I'm trying to get used to something different, but hopefully not too far up this road, I'll be able to see Ollie and he'll finally see my hair. 
I did pop into the Zan, but it was so quick I'm afraid I didn't get out the camera. And I also popped into Skinny Dip, but again, it was so quick. It was really busy around Oxford Street because there were protests. Some quite like timid protests uh, all about the environment, but nonetheless made it super, super busy. And to be honest, straight after when I just had my braces done, I felt a little bit, I don't know, it just felt kind of gummy. And this is the only way I can explain it. But anyway, hopefully, Ollie will be up here somewhere. I wonder what he's gonna think of my hair and if he's gonna notice. I'm gonna try and not be too obvious. And so I nearly got run over. Just pretend like I'm chatting to you. So let's see. We're staying overnight in an Airbnb and Ollie's just picked up the keys and I can see him. And I'm so curious to know what his reaction is gonna be like. Annoyingly, he's quite far away. Kind of like when I put my hood and see if he notices he's stood the other in the other direction right now. Hang on. Oh, he knows her. He's seen me, but I don't think he's noticed. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you here. How are you? Yeah, good. Mm, <laughs> You noticed something different about me. You've had your hair coloured and cut. <laughs> you didn't even notice. I, I, kind like, of, I, kind of, I kind of thought it was just hanging out the back. Were you too preoccupied with what else was going on? Yeah, I was kind of looking at that being like, uh. Oh, Look, but... you're going to refilm. Yeah, I like the five, six inches. I love it. Now. I really like it. Okay, good. You didn't even notice. No, no, no. I thought it was behind your, like, behind your jacket yeah, or something. Yeah, I know. I was gonna put my head up so you it was, it was only, it. it was only when you kind of like played with it, brought it forward. I was like, wow, that is. Yeah, it's gone. You didn't tell me about this. No, I know. Do you like it? Yeah, really like it. Really like it. Yeah, really like it. Good choice. <laughs> I can't believe that you didn't notice. <laughs> Everybody that I spoke to was like, he's, he's bound to. There's no way you're supposed to. I haven't got my glasses no on. You so. <laughs> you got your work badge on. <laughs> right. Let's have fun. <laughs> We popped into one of my favourite eating places. Mum and I always come here and seen and they do the best. If you like hot chocolate and cinnamon rolls, you have to come here. They do the best. But we've got a lot more than that. We've kind of gone for it. We have, well, I have a chicken and chorizo salad. Holly has New Yorker toasty. We've got the um, social, was it the social? Social slice. Social slice, which is basically a cinnamon one. Hot chocolate is just some of the best. And then we got this cutie pie. He was a truffle puff chick or something. Chick puff truffle. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> something like that. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it, cause I'll slip into And of course I forgot to finish off the video. We had such a good time in London. We are back at the house now. It's the Easter weekend and we are just gonna get on with the renovation still. So I'm gonna update you in my monthly renovation vlog. That one, sorry that my teeth is still really odd. I haven't got used to them yet, but thank you for coming along and watching. I hope that you like my new hair. I was so shocked that Ollie didn't notice it. I think it's hilarious to actually just watch the clip back. It's quite funny. I'm glad I got it on camera. Yeah, have a lovely week and I will see you all next week. Bye.